Hi friends, welcome to Diagnox. This is Dr. Farakat. Today, I will discuss how to choose analgesics in dentistry. Analgesics are the most commonly used drug in dentistry and it's very important that we choose them correctly. The most common reason for a patient to visit a dental office is pain. Pain is defined as an unpleasant sensory or emotional disturbance caused by actual or potential tissue damage. Pain may be in short classified as nociceptive pain and neuropathic pain. Nociceptive pain is the pain caused due to tissue injury. Pain of pulpal, periodontal, pain due to ulcers are the examples of nociceptive pain. Even though there are various groups of drugs like opioids, muscle relaxants, antidepressants for pain management, they are more effective in neuropathic pain that is the pain due to defect in neural system. Whereas more than 90% of the patient requires NSAIDs as their cause of pain would be of pulpal origin. Hence, choosing the right NSAID is very very important. NSAIDs are classified as non-specific COX inhibitors and COX-2 inhibitors. COX-2 inhibitors have few advantages that they does not inhibit cyclooxygenase 1 pathway and so the gastrointestinal side effect and the platelet inhibitory action are minimal. The most widely used non-specific COX inhibitors are aspirin and paracetamol. Aspirin is used prophylactically to avoid thromboembolic events by its antiplatelet effect. So we should think twice before we give a second NSAID to a patient who is already on aspirin. Paracetamol is considered as the safest NSAIDs. It can be given to a pregnant patient. In my last 10 years of practice, I have come across only one patient who was allergic to paracetamol. In fact, she was allergic to all NSAIDs. The most commonly used NSAIDs by me are acyclophenac, brufen and pyroxicum. The only reason why I use them is not that the other NSAIDs are ineffective. The reason is I do not want to experiment with unknown drugs as I am more familiar with these three drugs for the past 10 years. The known devil is better than the unknown angel. These are few popular brands of NSAIDs. I request the younger dental surgeon to go for a reputed brand whenever you prescribe analgesics in order to avail better bioavailability. During my initial days of practice, I was a big fan of pyroxicum because it had few advantages like convenient dosing, you just have to give it twice a day, it was available in dispersible tablets, gastric friendly etc. But later I had few doubts about its ability in management of acute pain. So now I reserve pyroxicum for patients with gastric issues only. Seracio peptidase. During my initial days of practice, I used to regularly prescribe Seracio peptidase for all patients who come to me with dental pain. 
Sarah Shipp today has got a mixed review. Certain studies state that they are better in pain and inflammation whereas certain studies state that they have got a placebo effect. Certain studies in fact show that they accelerate the spread of infection also. Sarah Shipp today is believed to decrease pain and swelling in case of patients with severe pain. and for the last few years i am not using sarashi but today this is my personal view when none of the other conventional nsaids work i prefer tramadol in combination with paracetamol patient gets good sleep and i avoid it during day time because of the drowsiness and i advise it only when the patient does not get pain relief to the conventional nsaids few patients have reported uneasiness nausea palpitation on use of tramadol i will not use injection diclofenac in my clinical setup because i have heard lots of horror stories about diclofenac injection and development of anaphylaxis anaphylaxis is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in which there is a possibility that a patient may die within seconds to minutes due to bronchospasm my greatest fears after prescribing analgesics are anaphylaxis steven johnson syndrome and severe gastritis i am lucky that i have not come across patients with anaphylaxis and steven johnson syndrome where i have seen multiple patients with severe gastritis gastric bleeding after prescribing analgesics so what usually happens in dental setup is that patients with severe dental pain those patients will not be consuming food for a few days because of pain and once they visit a dental surgeon and get the analgesics they immediately go home and consume the analgesics in empty stomach already these patients will have some sorts of gastrointestinal damage which will definitely lead to gastric bleed perforation severe gastric ulcerations I in fact had one patient who was admitted in hospital for one week due to severe gastritis. So it's always very very important that we consider the gastrointestinal system before we prescribe analgesics. In case of anaphylaxis, adrenaline 1 is to 1000 is the life saving drug. adrenaline along with hydrocortisone and chlorpheniramine would be useful these types of skin rashes are the most commonly seen allergic reactions in my dental office and the most important cause is a tablet diclofenac and injection of diclofenac to these patients would be lethal and it's always wise to do an allergic drug testing for these kinds of patients so that we know that to which drug these patients are allergic to and we can prescribe the safest analgesics i would think thrice before giving nsaids to renal failure patients hepatic failure patients patients with gastric issues and very very weak patients so i would like to conclude this presentation by stating that all analgesics are harmful so we should limit its dose paracetamol is the safest analgesics and combination of paracetamol with other nsaids is good for severe dental pain we get a good synergistic effect It's better to consult a physician 
before prescribing NSAIDs to hepatic renal failure, severe asthma, severe gastritis and pregnant patients. Meet you all again with another interesting video. Thank you.